Hi, I'm Annika Johnson from Al Johnson's in Sister Bay. I hope you enjoy my new video series called Door County Girl. These are stories of my life, the people and places that I love, and of course, how we all survive here in Northern Wisconsin. You can come back as often as you like, but don't forget to subscribe to Al's YouTube channel. I'll be posting lots of really cool new videos. So let's go. to another episode of Door County Girl. I am again here with my brother. Rolf Johnson. Yes, and we're gonna make something super tasty as usual. Yes. But I don't know what it is yet. Uh, do you remember Fiatistabula? Fiatistabula. Okay, we're gonna make that. It's also known as a semla roll. Is that like a bula that like I love? Those bula it, it that I like love? It is like bula like you love, but it's a different type of pastry because we're doing a hack on it today. So okay. this is going to be a super simple, and there are some Swedes out there that are going to cringe, I'm sure, but so be this it. This is a shortcut for Swedes that are lazy like us. Yeah, yeah. so, mm -hmm. but anyhow, uh, on uh, March 1st, which was going to be Fat Tuesday, is which also is celebrated in many religious countries, and this is one of the items that they would serve. And uh, so it is fiesta de bula, as I don't know if that means fat or if it actually means fasting uh, roll. I think it might mean fasting because this is another one of those items that you eat and eat and eat right by Lent, during Lent because then when you can't eat anymore, you gotta, you gotta be able so to tide you over. So it's one of the tastiest things over. they make so they can eat it. Yes, yeah, so remember, so when we had, remember we had the pea soup and how hearty oh, it was yeah, yeah. and followed by a, a dessert of Swedish pancakes? Yep. Well then, they're gonna eat this till they're gorge as well. That way they know they're gonna, they're gonna glide through that fasting portion. Oh my portion. God, the more I eat, the hungrier I am the next day. And, the, and like you know, in the, in the history behind it, it goes way back, I guess, but, uh, uh, it was really just a, uh, a semlar is like a wheat roll, and it was just served in hot milk. Mm -hmm. And you know how the Swedes are, they're going to say, okay, it needs almond, it needs almond, right? Yes, almond. And it needs, uh, it needs cream, and it needs whipped cream, and it needs cardamom. It needs to be a dessert now. Yeah, so that's what it became. <laughs> and, Did mom and, invent this? Yeah, I think. But in, in Sweden, it's crazy because you know how sometimes, when you're a kid, you're like, oh no, they're advertising back to school. Or all of a sudden, you're like, as soon as Halloween was over, what? They're advertising Christmas already? What happened to Thanksgiving, you know? Well, that's how these guys are in Sweden, that they start advertising uh, the bakeries and the grocery stores. You see it in the newspaper, uh, Simlar, Bulla, or Simlar rolls. And uh, they're like, what? So early? But the Swedes can't get enough of them. They just gorge. Well, it, it's, they run out. Oh, yeah. So you There's like eating contests. That's what I said, because they gorge themselves. I mean, if they could eat it year round, and they do make excuses in Sweden to have it at I Christmas know about all and my at Easter, in Sweden, and you know, so they they they've chosen. It's not such. It's not so sunken religion where they only have it on Fat Tuesday. They enjoy it on many different holidays. So uh, yeah. But uh, there's contests. Who makes the best? And uh, they have no trouble finding finding volunteers to taste them. Uh, whether it be presentation-wise or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and also, I think there's a history behind it. They actually had a name for it, and I don't know what it is, but it was like the death of a king. So one of the kings in Sweden uh, died of some kind of uh, eating too much or overeating. or It was His probably something else. <laughs> it was probably something else, but they, they blamed it on the, the, the Simlar roll, but he had had... Uh, that weird fermented herring. He had all kinds of stuff that didn't mix together, and who knows? But yeah. that was that was hundreds of years ago. So that's another goofy thing. But uh, you know how you know how sometimes these restaurants come up with these crazy things like the mix shamrock shake and all yeah. the other stuff. Yeah, they've done the same thing in Sweden. They've come up with the similar shake. Somebody once took a princess cake. And blended it with a similar roll, thinking the two best of two worlds. Like a smoothie. Yeah, similar, and it, yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure it brought Stockholm to a standstill, and they're like, "What? No, you You're don't. You don't do that. You don't day. do that." Exactly. You know, mom used to get mad because when she used to make these, I was the complainer because she used 
hamburger buns well, let's not, with yes. seeds on them. Sesame Sometimes. Seeds. You know, the only time she used, I remember that. And then she told me, if you don't like it, you don't get one. Yeah. So I'd have to sneak in at night. Because you'd still want to eat it. Yeah, I just want the, the, <laughs> the paste and the whipped cream. I don't want the hamburger bun with the seeds on it. But, you know, then she would go to the grocery store. And well, she's she, a sweet. And sometimes she would go to the, um, oh, it's gone now, uh, the uh, Beach Road Market. And they'd have the homemade hamburger buns. Yeah, because I complained about right. the seeds. But, but when you cut those open and you peeled out the uh, innards of them and you blended in with your paste, it was it was close okay, to an original. Okay, whatever you say. I right? remember it well. You know who loved him more than anybody else? Oh, Lars. He really oh, yeah. loved them. And so him. does, um, is it Thor? I didn't know that he likes them too. Yeah, because mom always has to bring some up for Thor. No. Yeah, that's our, that's our nephew. Well, he anyhow, so yeah. what we're going to do is a, uh, a hack, and it's going to, like I say, it might make some of the Swedes cringe, but we're using a puff pastry, heaven forbid. Uh, you can get this. Pre made puff pastry. So you can get this puff pastry. Um, Pepperidge Farm. You know, any whatever, brand frozen. you want, store brand. Uh, you can use a, um, a crescent roll style, whatever you want, but you're going to lay it out flat like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some of this almond paste. And we're using almond paste. There's a big difference between marzipan, marzipan and almond paste. So you do want to use the almond paste. Marzipan is more sweet and it's for candies and things like that and for brushing your teeth with. <laughs> what? I just think it's funny. It comes in those tubes and it goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything that's in a tube, we think you have to you brush are, your oh, teeth. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at some caviar. We have to brush our teeth with some fish eggs. So I'm going to tell you how much of a, of a hack this is. I'm going to throw this in the microwave and not cook it. Normally, you would heat it up and you would mix it together. And, uh, oh, by the way, this is available in our store and online. Yep. Almond and, uh, paste. Odess. If is, you it, can, is it Odess? Odess. Uh, Odess. It is Odense. Odense. And this is a, a, a Danish product, and it's a wonderful product. And we do carry... Uh, the almond paste and we also carry the marzipan paste as well so okay so while I'm doing this I need you to whip up some whipped cream and it takes a tad of vanilla and I'm going off of this because I don't remember how much so, but it's half a teaspoon which means let me whole. reiterate it's half a teaspoon not a whole well I know what you're gonna do <laughs> Let's see. I'll Clear just put a half in. in. We're going to do this little by little because I'm not for real familiar with how hot we're going to need this. And I need this whisk from you. Okay, that's all I'm putting in there right now, or do I put this in here? Yeah, what you're doing is you're going to whip this up with this in there. That's powdered sugar. So all together? Yep. All right. And you're going to bring it to nice fluffy peaks. I just eat it. I don't usually make it. Look, nothing's better than fresh whipped cream, either. Hence, I didn't wear my glasses because I was going to get splattered by the whipped cream. I can see why Ralph didn't want to do this. Careful. So I suppose everybody wonders why I'm wearing a Band-Aid on my nose. No, I was going to bring it How up. but you never uh... asked me? <laughs> I was going to draw a little goat on it, and I was going to put some skull and crossbones on it, just so Ralph would say, what's up with the Band-Aid on well, your nose? Well, I noticed it wasn't there yesterday, so I am curious. And now that you've brought it up, what well, is with the bandage on your nose? So the bandage on my nose is, as all of you know that are about 60 years old like me, when we were younger, we didn't really have sunscreen. So we actually just went out and about, spent our whole days outside at the beach in the sun. I can't tell you how many times my nose has peeled and burned. And now these things are coming to haunt me in the future. So I got a little skin cancer on my nose, and 10 days ago, or about two weeks ago, I had them both, one on my lip and one on my nose, cut out because I had it burned several times, but they kept coming back. So this time I got a little nervous because my mom actually had a little spot on her nose, and she had it burned off four times, and it came back. Oh, yeah, it came back again and again and, and again. And she ended up having her whole nose taken off, so I didn't really want to go that route. No, I take it so you would not. 
I ended up going back yesterday and after the biopsy and I had to get the nose reburned because it's precancerous and it was a mole, or a little scab that kept coming back. I know that sounds gross, but I was minding my own business. I'd wake up in the morning and I'd have a cut on my nose and I couldn't understand why. I didn't cut myself and it was this precancerous. So I kind of get down on Rolf a little bit here because he's got a couple spots on the side of his temple here. I see one by his eyeball. Those are called age spots. No, they're not. You know what my dermatologist just called my dark spots wisdom on my head? Wisdom marks. marks. They're called wisdom marks. And that's what I got, so. Yeah, so oh. I got all mine burned off yesterday. And then it's kind of hideous. I didn't want you to look at it in the video today. Even though it doesn't gross me out, it kind of grosses Rolf out, so I had to put a Band-Aid on it. I wouldn't work with her otherwise. Yep. Nah. He's all, a little squeamish. All kidding aside, it's a good idea to get yourself checked out for simple stuff like that so it doesn't become complicated stuff down the road. Yep. My brother has melanoma. My mom has melanoma. My brother's had a lot of Mohs surgeries. Yep. My other brother, Lars. And so there's nothing wrong with getting checked. And most of you now have lots of different options on sunscreen, so I swear to God, if there's Go sunscreen heavy. out there, slather Go it heavy. on. Put it on, and you won't ever have to get diced and sliced as you get older. Lars said, when in doubt, cut it out. Cut it out. So that's what I did. All right, so as you're mixing that, I had heated this up, and you can take a smell of that. Isn't that good? That almond? That smells like Johnny O's almond puff pastry. And what we're going to do here with this puff pastry, we're just going to cut it in quarters. And you can make them any size you want. You can get creative, make them triangular, however. And that's going to be a top and a bottom. So it's going to go in the oven and just follow the instructions. That comes with the package. And fortunately for us, through the magic of television, I snuck in earlier and I made them already. Yeah. I think you're looking good right there. So what we're going to do here. Let's go to ha and so it's called the slicka. Slicka. We're just going to pop that off there. Don't turn it on on me. I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> this is the best part. Slicka pot. Yep. Mm -mm. Mikke got. Mikke got. All our cousins are amazed at our Swedish capabilities. <laughs> yeah. And Sweden. Pretty, pretty lame. Hi, Annika and Madeline hey, hey. and Eric and Paul and Nicholas and I'm missing a whole bunch. Magnus, Karen. Yep. All our relatives live in Sweden pretty except much. for like four of them. Oh. Huh. Delicious. We need to go visit and show you know, them how to make semla. We can skip this and just eat that. <laughs> okay. Mm, okay. So we got this mixed and we have this super, super, super easy. And you want to cut it, see how it's kind of, you don't want to cut it in half. And especially if you're making the true semla with the, with the rolls and the yeast, you want to make a hat out of it. You don't want to make a, um, you don't want to make a uh, hamburger bun out of it. It's like a muffin. And you want Most to, of the muffins on the bottom and then the top. You kind of want to hollow this out. And really, if you if you know, I should have really done this earlier, and I could have actually ground that up. What do you do with, along the, with the paste? Um, hollow it out stuff. Nothing. Well, no. Typically, well, I eat it now, but a lot of times you'll grind it up. And yeah, I thought put you it, had to mix it in. And with you the... put it in with the paste, but remember, we're doing a hack. Oh, we're doing a hack. So I'm just trying to make this as simple as possible. Okay. So we have that, and then we have a rubber spatula. We're gonna need. And you go ahead and take that whipped cream you got and put it in that bag. Oh, that's going to be a challenge for go. Annika. Okay. She gives me the hard stuff. <laughs> I have to get a spoon. And I think you'll probably have better luck with a spatula, too. Again, you don't want to cut it in half. You want to take the top off and make a little hat out of it. So many times, like I say, they would take this out and they would chop it up real fine, mix it in with the almond paste, 
and usually they'd season it with either a little cardamom in the in the whipping cream or in the uh, the paste itself. I bet everyone who's a baker out there wishes that I could bake with them. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this nice job I'm doing here. Mm-mm. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Okay. I gotta, I gotta, it's like I gotta think so much when I bake versus cooking. I'm just like, Ooh, I'm missing something. All normal. right, let's see how beautiful you can dollop these on there. Okay. I, I'm gonna try to go for four little tiny squares on each one and kind of high. All right, four squares? Yeah, but make them kind of. You know how you do the whipped cream? Oh, like? Yeah. Two, three. Okay, try this one doing every other. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four. I think it was a little scrimpy. I was just going to say, what are you saving that to lick it out later on? <laughs> Maybe. Jeez. I think I can squirt a lot of it in there if I want here. Hang on. Look at how perfect they are. And then you got Whoop. yourself a little hat. Let's peel this a little bit, make it hollow. Here, another little hat. A little cap. And again, if you were willing to go the extra, you would heat up a little milk, actually half and half or heavy cream, and you would store that in a bowl. Oh, so this. Yeah, you put a little bowl. And this and is, then, like I say, it's super, super and easy. And isn't it warm milk that you put on them? I like it hot. Too. So when you do the and milk. And you let it get kind of soggy. I didn't like the milk on it. Really? But, well, yeah, because I just wanted the filling. Oh, and yeah, the... yeah, yeah. Anyhow, do you add anything to the milk, or it's just milk? Uh, usually, again, cinnamon milk, cinnamon sugar, or sometimes cardamom. It all depends on your flavor. And almond milk would be tasty. Oh, yeah, it would be very tasty. Yeah. All, all right. right. We get to try some? Well, I'm going to try the same one you're trying. Okay, yeah. And I'm going to try to cut this because I want to be neat about it. Mm. Ralph's so dainty. Oh. I'm gonna be a. All right, hurry up. You're done. <laughs> uh, really, now I just want to pick up the whole thing and eat it. But I'm oh not. Oh my gonna... god! Isn't that good? And how simple it was, and how quickly it was. You know what I like about it? It's not so bread-like. No, it's very flaky in this pastry. I mean, Mom should have learned puff. about this puff, puff pastry when we were younger. <laughs> Maybe I wouldn't be so traumatized. Be careful, the Swedes the may disown bun. you. Oh, this is delicious, everyone. So now everybody knows how to make semla. Right. If you just want to, if you're a newbie at it, never had them before, Fat Tuesday's coming up, mm -hmm. March 1st. You can get them at Al Johnson's. You can pre-order them. And if you better uh, pre-order them too, because I know that we sell a lot of yeah, them. Yeah, and, and by the way, we don't make them with a puff pastry. Our baker uses the, uh, makes wonderful rolls. Uh, he uses the yeast, the whole bit, so you're going to get more full flavor out of it. And if you're coming to the restaurant, we are serving it with milk on request. So, mm. uh that's the way to eat it, but uh, by all means, if you if you if you can't get online to check it out, you can call us in uh, the restaurant, hit extension one, and place your order there as well. Well, and that brings us to the tail end. So everyone should be able to make one of these if Rolf and I can make Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Fiat Sabula. Semlar. Semlar. Yeah. Semla is singular, right? And semla, I think, is plural, I okay. think. Okay. So, semla and semla. So come in for a semla roll, and if you want more than one, come in for semla rolls. Yes, please. Well, that wraps it up for another girl episode of Door County Girl. So don't forget... Like and subscribe. To check out all our other wonderful items we're Absolutely. going to make. Right? Yep. This has got to be one of the best. That is good. Yeah. The I like dessert. The paste was so simple. Mm. Easy going. Okay. So. Well, check out the, you can get this recipe online as well, right? Absolutely. Excellent. Well, I'll see you later, everyone. Hey, do. Hey, hey. Mm -mm. I have one more fork? bite. Of, I think this is mine. Yeah, You're trying you to eat it. mine. We ate this whole thing. Rolf and I are hogs. I saved one for them. Uh -huh. mm. Thanks for watching Door County Girl. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time.